Terramark and his CTO, Jason. Manny, wonderful to have you here. Thank you very much, Paul. Thank you for having me. There you go. <laughs> Hi. We're very proud of the partnership that we've had with VMware, expanding over five years now. Terramark is a leading global provider of managed IT solutions. In March of 06, our fiscal year ended in March of 06, Terramark had revenues of $62 million, and we were just about EBITDA break even. In March of this year, in our last fiscal year end, we had revenues in excess of $250 million and more than $62 million in EBITDA. We believe this is directly attributable to our differentiated business model, which gives today's CIOs an opportunity to accomplish their two main priorities, saving money in running their IT infrastructure in a safe environment. Terramark does this by providing a full suite of services a la carte that the choice of each CIO uh, in order to what they need. We start with our co-location services, which we provide out of carrier neutral data centers that we own and operate in three continents, North America, Latin America, and Europe. Our data centers are connected by hundreds of carriers. We offer sophisticated network services, such as peering, optical switching, and the most robust access to the internet in the planet. We also offer a full suite of managed services, including managed hosting, disaster recovery, security, one of our fastest growing areas, as well as utility computing. In the summer of last year, we launched our enterprise cloud, and it quickly became the standard for the industry. Today, I don't know of any other company that hosts more websites and mission-critical applications of Fortune 1000 companies and government agencies than Terramark's Enterprise Cloud. Today, we're launching vCloud Express. This will open this incredible, robust infrastructure to a much wider audience, including developers, single users, and SMBs. We're very proud of our development team, and I'd like to today thank uh, Randy, Moni, Emmanuel for everything that they've done to get this product to market so quickly. I am personally very excited to be at the epicenter of what I consider to be a major paradigm shift in our industry. Now, for those of you who saw the, uh, who attended the keynote speech this morning, you saw a little bit of the presentation of, the, of our vCloud Express and basically on how to sign on, and you saw how quickly and easy it is. Right now, I'd like to call Jason Lockhead, our CTO of hosting, who was instrumental in the development of this product to show you some additional uses. Thanks, Manny. Thanks. So as you saw this morning during the keynote demo, uh, anyone with a credit card can sign up for vCloud Express and be up and running uh, in a very short fashion. And they only have to pay for the servers for as long as they need them. Um, so I'm going to pick up where the keynote demo left off and uh, give you a few examples of how you can use vCloud Express. So this is a, a great option for developers. They can deploy their own servers. They can configure their own environment without having to involve IT. As you can see here, I've got a small dev and test environment I've created with multiple versions of my application. And these were very easy to create. I can just copy existing servers. That'll bring over the operating system, the data, uh, the uh, application files and configuration, and uh, you're up and running in no time. But vCloud Express isn't just for development. It's also perfectly suitable for running production applications. Then when you're talking about production applications, uh, you're really talking about uh, how to scale. So there's a couple, of, a couple of different ways to deal with that. Uh, I can easily scale up by adding additional resources to an existing server. So for instance, I can reconfigure this database server from two processors and four gigs of RAM up to, say, four processors and eight gigs of RAM. Once I save that and the server comes back up, it'll have immediate access to those resources. And since we're running on vSphere 4, we can actually go all the way up to eight processors if your application requires it. Now let's say I need some additional resources for the web and app tier. I could do the same thing by reconfiguring this server. Um, but my application scales horizontally, so instead of adding more resources to an individual server, I'm just going to copy this server. So there's a simple copy function here that will walk you through a wizard, make an exact copy of the server, but give it a unique IP address as well as a unique name, and we'll call this www3. 
and I'll have this automatically start up when the copy is complete. Now this server is not going to do us a lot of good until it's actually taken some live traffic so I need to actually make this a part of my load balancer pool so I'll move over to the network tab and reconfigure my load balancer to add that server to the pool. So you can see I already have a website here with the first two nodes taking traffic. So all I need to do is say create node, select the new server and its IP address and this is a web server so we'll use port 80 and we'll call it web node 3. So this is going to go to the load balancer and say hey there's another server here that can take traffic go ahead and start sending it traffic as well as opening a hole in the firewall automatically to allow traffic in from the internet. The last scenario I want to talk about is uh, short term workloads. So our internal professional services team uses the cloud to data to perform load testing services for our customers and they do that using load generation drones. Um, so we would probably need more than one drone to generate any kind of significant amount of load so I would need to make copies of this server but instead of using the UI I am actually going to use a uh, PowerShell script that calls the vCloud APIs to copy these. So it is going to kick off a script that is going to say create three copies of this server each with a new IP address and a new name. So when I go back to the UI and refresh you will see I have kicked off three copies of this server uh, all at the same time. So to sum up uh, vCloud Express is about on demand pay as you go computing it is easy to use and it is built on the same uh, high performance highly available VMware infrastructure that thousands of companies use to run their internal apps. So with that I will wrap up and Thanks, give it back to Paul. Thanks. Some of the things that Jason